everyone and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes Show. My name as always is Jamie Hughes and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Oscars, give you a little rundown, a little review of the Oscars, what I thought, I've just finished watching it, I've got a load of thoughts roaming around in my head so I just want to get them out and I have to say I really enjoyed the Oscars this year, I thought it was a very good mix of um, comedy and seriousness. It was very funny when it needed to be, but when it needed to be serious and when it needed to talk about important things, it was done very, very well. And I have to give uh, big props to Jimmy Kimmel there, the host. I thought he handled um, those situations very, very well. I think he is like he's a really safe pair of hands, Jimmy Kimmel, because he can be serious when he needs to be, but he can also interject jokes into a situation and not make it feel insensitive or kind of over the top. And I think he did a really good job hosting. And let's jump into the awards themselves. I thought that although this was one of the most open yeah, I think it was one of the most open years for Oscars. We didn't know what was truly going to happen until it happened. But overall, I did feel like this award, the, this award show was very predictable. I think the people that were going to win kind of did win, especially in the main four acting categories. Uh, Alison Janney won Best Supporting Actress. Sam Rockwell's Best Supporting Actor. Gary Oldman won Best Actor. And the wonderful Frances McDormand won Best Actress. And I didn't think... I could love Frances McDormand any more than I already do. And then she gave that powerful, emotional speech last night. And I just, I love the woman. She is incredible. And yeah, it just made my heart so warm that a woman just cares so much. And you can see how much everything means to her. And God, she is a badass. So moving on to the other awards. And I think the biggest shock of the night for me was that, and it's a really weird one. I, I, I think this is kind of a weird one. But for me, it was that um, This Is Me from The Greatest Showman didn't win Best Original Song. Judging from like how that um, song has jumped from the movie to kind of um, pop culture and you kind of hear it everywhere. It's transcended from the movies to the radio. I, I think... And, and as, as especially the reception it got in the theatre last night, I thought that this is a shoe in to win. And the fact that it was it was won by Coco, it just felt like a little bit of a shock to me. In fact, actually no, it felt like quite a big shock because I felt like This Is Me was a huge shoe in to win. Moving on to some more awards. Um, Call Me By Your Name won Best Adapted Screenplay. I think that was pretty much a given. And then the moment of the night that just made my heart soar with joy was that Jordan Peele won the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay for Get Out. I absolutely love this man. I thought his his acceptance speech was so sincere, so warm and so powerful. And oh, it just made me so happy. And then I went on Twitter just after watching the Oscars and I saw all those pictures of Key celebrating and it just made my heart even warmer. And I tell you what, I got a little bit misty eyed when he gave his acceptance speech. I, I just could not be happier for the man at this moment in time where it seemed like I know this was the category they had the strongest chance of winning in uh, and it did seem like it was going to go that way. Just for him to get it was just so nice and so incredible, especially when you hear the stories that were coming out is that a lot of the, the kind of academy voters weren't the biggest fans of Get Out. The fact that he still stuck it to them and won is just oh, so, so happy. And then after that, it kind of moves on. Now I'm going to move on to the um, best picture, which... Again, it was a big shock for me. I thought Three Billboards had this in the bag. Obviously, they won Best Actor, uh, Best Supporting Actor and Actress. So maybe that's why the momentum did swing towards uh, The Shape of Water. Because it, in the big categories, it had only won Director. Obviously, it won for, I think, Production Design and also for Best Original Score as well. Uh, so yeah, it picked up Best, uh, Best Film. And I was very, like, I was surprised. I'm okay with it. Like... I'm not annoyed, surprised, it was just a little bit of a shock because I thought that um, Three Bubbles had the better chance. I thought I thought it was a shoo-in, um, but obviously not. Uh, we do see it sometimes where the Academy do kind of change things up. Obviously, um, uh, Three Bubbles won the uh, best picture of the BAFTAs. So I, I was kind of going on that, to be honest with you, but they do like to change it every now and again. I'm really happy for Guillermo del Toro, Sally Hawkins, Octavia Spencer, and everybody involved with The Shape of Water. Because it's a great film. I didn't enjoy it as much as Three Billboards. That's kind of like a personal thing. But it's still a very, very, uh, very, very cool and very great 
it's a great story. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm waffling here. I don't know what I'm going on about. But yeah, really happy for The Shape of Water. And that is kind of my Oscar review, kind of summed up very nicely in about five minutes or so. Uh, I didn't want to make this too long because it's just kind of all the thoughts that are jumbling around in my head. I just wanted to get them out after watching the award ceremony itself. Thought it was a really enjoyable show. As I said, needed to be serious. It needed to make a statement and I definitely think it did that um, with all that kind of interjections they had, especially with um, the the kind of speech that Salma Hayek and the other two girls, their names elude me at this moment of time. I'm so sorry. The speech they gave, Francis McDormand, um, just it was a very important night. And I think they delivered on everything that they could have. A very, very enjoyable show and a very kind of poignant show. And it feels like the tone has shifted in Hollywood after this award show. Uh, yeah, very much enjoyed it. So let me know your thoughts about the 90th Annual Academy Awards. As always, down in the comments below, let me know what you, you thought about all the winners, the show overall, Jimmy Kimmel hosting, hosting skills. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this episode of The Jamie Hughes Show. I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra. Mm -hmm.